Queen's taking an awkward angle and the freeze is off. Forced to drop the headhunter. Oh no. Oh no. That queen's dead. That queen. Oh, she's still alive. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a four versus four creative war between Kazbek Gaming and X Team with all webcams here today. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy whoa, this vid. Whoa, Carmen. Wait. Hold up. Before uh, we get into this 4v4 creative war, we do have a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Might and Magic Era of Chaos. Might and Magic Era of Chaos is a strategic RPG mobile game, and you at home will be able to participate in the lucky draw. Yes, you'll be able to have a chance at winning the Ubisoft lucky pack, which you see all of these games right here, you'll be able to win. Before we learn more about the lucky draw, let's learn more about this strategic RPG mobile game. Might and Magic Era of Chaos is a mobile game with PvE and PvP battles in real time. Join Queen Catherine Iron Fist on her quest to restore the kingdom. Summon legendary heroes, assemble massive armies of mythical creatures, mighty knights, and powerful spellcaster, and use strategy and magic to prevail in battle. In order to participate in the lucky draw, you must download Might and Magic Era of Chaos. The link to download will be in the video description. But once you do, you click the little icon at the top left of the screen. You get the ID right there. And then you'll be able to log in to this screen right here where you click log in. These are the items that you could win. And you notice that the event goes from January 14th through February 14th, 2022. So make sure you guys act soon. And then you'll scroll down. This is where you will participate. Click that and you'll get a long number. Hopefully it's long because the top 50 participants will then win the UBC luck pack, which is right here, which has all these games plus an extra participation rewards. So I wish you guys the best of luck. In addition to the lucky draw, there will be hero voting going on from January 20th to February 2nd. This is where you will vote for your favorite hero in the game and you'll be able to win physical rewards. Yes, they'll be selecting 30 random participants participating in the voting. And if you don't win that, you'll still be able to win some in-game participation rewards. So make sure you guys download Might and Magic Era of Chaos. The link will be down in the video description. I'll see you guys there. The first attacker is in Ghost. Good luck, my friend. You can see all their webcams right on the left side. Ghost, what do you have up your sleeve? We've got 13 rocket loons. We got six bats as well. But we drop. Oh, we're going to do an earthquake. A skelly donut right into the middle. Oh, he made the inferno tower invisible here. Uh-oh, can he still get it? Can he still get it? Okay, there he goes. The clan castle goes down. The skelly's going to reroute. He drops another invis. And he still is going to get that multi-target inferno. Very nice. A lot of people may have accidentally missed that but he was okay he was calm and still able to take it down now rocket loons coming in helping pick off the air defense grab the wizard tower on the top side dropping them all around this base here has five more rocket loons to deploy and looks like he wants to go in and grab this eagle artillery especially with that dragon miner and yes it does go in to help take the eagle down well done there go so far now we got a baby dragon to the bottom side king moves his way into this air defense down here the golems providing the tanking the enemy queen stepping up over the wall. Valkyrie is going to die off there. And the Grand Warden is going to come help assist. Does have that battle blimp. Is he going to use it down south? Or no, he sends it on the top side up there to fly all by itself. But he does find the tornado trap getting spun around. And there is the Warden ability. No, still waiting. Sneaky goblins coming in for the town hall. We gotta wait. We gotta be patient. Now the king's ability. There's the oh, there's the town hall going down. The bats are on top of the scatter shot. We've got rocket loots coming on the top side, and the bats are taking the scatter shot out. And there it goes. The the dragon rider pulls the seeking air mine, but we got the rocket loons coming around. The bats are still making their way through the town hall. Poison will absolutely shred the bats, but he gets right through it. Look at that. GG. Queen's ability takes out the multi perfectly timed, but these bats are taking a massive wave of damage. RC's ability has been forced, but will he be able to have enough here? And these ground expos and the builder huts really stalled him up and not going to get this so we've got ourselves a defense from xbb right here and we've got ourselves an 87 percent two star right there from ghost 
Very nice effort right there. Now we'll see what X team can do against them. And now XBB is in. Good luck. XBB with the 16 Valkyries. Okay. What do you got up your sleeve? We've got uh, no healer. So he's not doing a queen or a warden walk. Looking to use the 20 sneaky goblins for the town hall. Really? Are you serious? You're gonna have to look to take this town hall down with... Oh, there's some giant bombs. Oh, look at that. He was gonna... Was he gonna... Was the giant bomb and small bomb there to really stop that flame flinger? No, so he's not going with a flame flicker. He's going with a battle blimp into the scatter shot. And now the sneakies can go for the tunnel. There's the rage. Pulls out a golem and an ice golem to defend. Is this the new meta? Golem ice golem for ghost base. Okay, interesting here. Now that battle blimp did take that scatter shot out. He's got six more sneakies. Will it be enough to take this town hall down? Because it is pretty far away. So we have to be keeping our eye on that. Now the queen's going to take her time for this golem ice golem here. The wizard does die to the mortar. Oh, it does. So will that affect the queen's pathing here? But the sneakies for the town hall. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yes, it is taken down. Well done right there. Now, the queen is slowly making her way through this golem here. And I don't know. Did he want that? Did he want that gold storage down is my question. The queen is actually... The skellies are bringing the queen in. Okay, never mind. You don't have to worry about the queen walking because the queen walked further towards that section. There's the Valks coming straight on in. More Valks to the top side. Has the Warden Eternal Tome to use. Giant Bomb. Valks takes some damage. Small Bombs right there doing quite a bit of damage. He's making his way right into the middle. There's a jump all the way to the queen down that channel he got, pops that warden ability drops the rage as the valks are going to run right on past this warden and now they're going to take the jump to the queen no there's a tornado trap slowing them down he's got a bunch of spells left he's not utilizing it on the scatter which would be perfect he uses it on the single but there's a oh, did he use a poison on the bottom side look at this the valks are just they ran their way through the king's ability went off has another invis and a freeze potentially used for this royal champion and where's his queen? The queen. He drops the invisibility spell onto her. RC's ability goes off. He's got the wizards around and the Valkyrie smash. It looks like it's getting it done for XBB. But the thing is, time. We've got 35 seconds left. RC, no ability. Queen burns her ability right now. She's going to have to make her way and take that jump spell towards that single target Inferno. But that RC, has, he has to use the free spell onto that single at this point. Or is he going to use it on the bottom side? It's going to be a close call. Freezes the cannon in an archer tower because he realizes that time is an issue. So he wants to get to this bottom section as fast so he can push his way to the single. If this falls short, it's going to keep it close for this war. Five, four, no! It's going to be a time fail! Three, two, one, and a 98% to XBB! Oh my goodness! Wow, what a great effort, XBB, right there. It's all tied up, two to two. And now Max is in. Good luck, Max. He's coming in with the 21 Sneakies. So he's looking to use Sneaky Goblins to take out the Town Hall as well. And we've got that Warden Walk starting off on the bottom side. If you guys are really enjoying this video, I did a video with Rootkit and Klaus. If you want to check it out, the link will be down in the video description because I'm doing a lot more of these style of videos to get ready for season three of the Master Series. Will the, we see these players face off potentially in that? Maybe. But look at this. Max taking out that clan castle, taking out that core. How does he do it? My goodness, GG. They are so good. I, You know, I try. I try to use these skelly donuts and I will just fall short and fail oh we got the flame flinger down uses the valk instantly to kill off those skeletons well done nice job now the warden's grabbing this multi-target inferno we got two golems really to push his way through with his heroes and the golem is down he's got one more golem to use we've got a three super wall breaker sending the sneakies up and around does he have... He has one skeleton. The Warden's taking a lot of damage and gets locked down by the Eagle Artillery. That's no fun. Now, the Flame Flinger is still making its way to the right, so that should be safe. 
He wall breaks continuously over to the left side so he can keep making his way through. There's the warden ability. Protects through the giant bomb. More sneakies up to the top side of the space. Finding a giant bomb, losing those sneaky goblins. So that's going to hurt there, especially for pathing. The queen goes the wrong way. The yak goes through the wall. Oh, no. That's not what he wanted. We've got the king ability still to use. The RC's coming in. Queen's ability's got to go through the enemy. Queen had scatter shot, and yes, he does make it through the queen there. More sneakies coming in. He's got nine more sneaky goblins to use. So he's taking the risk. His queen is dead. Flameflinger is clearing the scatter shot. But what's the play with the sneakies? Is this wall open up here by the archer tower? Okay, so that's... Okay, it is there. But he's got five more, and this... Oh, boy. Is he going to be able to take this town hall down? There's the invis. He's got another invis to go to the town hall. Giant bomb, giant bomb. Uh-oh. Arcee's going to get locked down by the single. Going to force her ability. Freezes it. There's a tornado trap. Oh, my goodness. More sneak is coming into the town hall. He's going to slow down. He makes it. He's going to make him invisible. Town hall should go down. But the raw champion's been taken out. Does he have enough here? Town hall with the sneakies. Oh, no. The town hall never went down, and he didn't have enough sneakies. And he's got Valkyries coming out here. He's got no spells. And he took the risk. And he went with trying to end with the sneaky goblins. And the town hall is going to stay up. Oh, man. Max is not going to be able to get this. He tried to take that risk. What a great effort. It's a one star. 89% right there. Max, great effort. I mean, that was a risk he took, but now it's a one. We got a 98% two-star there. We got an 87, and then the one. X-Team is looking good. All right, X-Team is back. Is it Kano, if I'm pronouncing this right? And I believe XBB said he is a YouTuber as well. So keep your eye out for that. And he's coming in with the 15 head hunters okay he's got a bit of a warden walk to start down south here town hall is to the top so now they need absolutely need a one star defense as well so we're seeing another skeleton donut come in there's the invis there oh he makes the multi-target inferno invisible here uh oh there's another invis oh he made it invisible again oh no Okay, so that's going to really hurt. Multi will stay up. He planned for that to go down. So now, how is he going to get around this? He got 24 sneaky goblins. My goodness. These people love to use these sneaky goblins for these town halls. Okay. I mean, <laughs> what? I would have tried to maybe use the flame blinger, but he's got... Doing the warden walk. But granted, these players know how to trap for the flame flinger, so I would fall into those traps so easily. Now, the Warden's continuing, and is he going to come to the right side? That multi-mortar is absolutely shredding those goblins. They're not letting them survive. There's a Tassa farm off to the right side. King's going to try to clear that. Wayne is down. Warden is not going for this air defense. Actually, he is. The Warden goes for the AD because of the balloons. So he uses the free spell, so that air defense goes down. The Warden needs to continue his path to the right with the Queen. Here comes the Barbarian, or the King, essentially, with the Barb spawned. Pops the Queen ability. Oh, that's going to hurt. Headhunter's going into the Defending King, but the Multi-Target Inferno is doing work onto them. More Headhunters coming through. He's making his way through. Pops that Warden ability now. Town Hall is not down yet because he's going to drop the rest of the Sneakies for it. And the Log Launcher is coming across. Nine. Wait. Oh, there's the sneakies. Did he miss some of them? No. Ta okay. Town hall goes down. So he secures that. Queen makes her way into the core. The log launcher. Valkyries come out of it. Moving their way around. The queen doesn't have her ability. Does have one invis. Ha makes the queen invis. No, but it doesn't. It doesn't work there. Oh, man. Nice try. The skeleton donuts. That multi-target inferno did some work there. But he does have the RC ability with six headhunters still to use. Does he have any? Yeah, he does have one more hero. So when you don't have all the heroes in one spot, it can really hurt because then the headhunters, obviously, they won't clean up. And they'll have to run across the base and not able to get this. So this is a lower percentage, too. So if Ghost, who's going to be attacking next, gets a triple, they could come back 
and tie this up or at least be close as long as x team doesn't get that triple because remember we're trying to be fun we're trying to be creative we're seeing what they've got up their sleeves nice try right there it is only the 70 percent two star ghost good luck what do you got for us here with that hmm 14 archers some sneaky seven super wall breakers is he going to do it at just a huge charge of a queen charge? I mean, he starts off with a queen here. He does have a skeleton and viz. And, okay. No flame flinger. Going with that log launcher here. And the yeti's off on the far right side. Trying to grab some of those buildings. The queen is taking a massive amount of damage from the ground expo there. So forced to drop that early rage. Queen's walking right around not oh pulling a seeking air mine with that balloon dropping an additional balloon to try to go for that eagle sends a dragon rider in to help try to take that down so that's a that's a very valuable dragon rider right there very nice super wall break opens the compartment for that multi so the queen can keep charging her way in there's the rage queen's taking an awkward angle and the freeze is off forced to drop the headhunter oh no oh no that queen's dead that queen Oh, she's still alive! Ghost, how is she still alive? What? Are you serious? Well, he, fo he still didn't even pop the queen ability. What? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Ghost, how did you do that? He loses a healer to a seeking air mine, but he somehow did not lose that queen ability. What? That's insane. Okay, now the king's coming over on the bottom side with that warden. Queen now lures out the clan castle. We got archers and archers and archers and a witch. Drops that poison spell for the witch and the skellies that spawn. Drops the rage for the queen. The wizard grabs the air defense beautifully so the queen can make sure she doesn't get hit by at least the healers don't. Now the royal champ comes in uh, over on the far left with the tassel farm that pops. Pops the warden in the channel to him, trying to charge his way all the way through. And the witch goes down. Now the log launcher yetis are going to make their way through the multi. Now he freezes up the town hall here. And he's got more suit. Look at these super wall breaks. He wall breaks this queen all the way across the base here. And he somehow is he going to get it with the queen ability. That queen ability is going to come in clutch. Pops the RC ability, skips across, can help get through these defenses to finish this off. And that queen will able to secure the town hall. Unless the queen goes in to the left, she should, right? Well, it doesn't even matter because the RC and the warden take the town hall down. So the queen doesn't even have to. Drops the archer's head on her wall break on the top side. And Ghost, if time's on his side, he's going to three star from the start of that to three starring GG. Oh my goodness. Ghost. How did you do that? How did you get the three star? How did you keep that queen alive? I am blown away. So now you get that triple and now force X team to three star because if they don't, percentage wise, 55 point, or let's go average, 92 to an 84. So they really have to get a triple to keep the lead right now. XBB, good luck my friend looking to put that three star on the board and god space has got the town hall a little bit in the core so he is running kind of the anti two star style not the town hall on the edge like we've seen a lot in these wars here but xbb is not faced he's got six super valkyries here starting off with a skeleton donut to take out the eagle and the clan castle okay there it is. It's going down slowly. XBB is one of the most... It seems like he's just... Oh, you know what? I'm chill. I'm just casual. I'm just going to take this down. Lean back. No worries. What? I would be in my chair. Focused. Head, I, I don't know how you do that so casually, XBB. What What a skelly deployment to take out those two buildings right there. Insane. A lot of value just from that. Now, the Flame Flanger is still going. Helping to take out this multi-target Inferno. And he hasn't started the Warden Walker, which is what I'm assuming he's going to go with. Flame Flinger is taking this multi down. So remember, we got we to gotta think about time. I mean, Valkyries are fast, but Super Valkyries, I don't know necessarily. I usually only take about like one to two of them so that when they die, you get the Rages. And I go with regular Valks. 
But there's the Valk from the Rage that died. There's the jump to the left. Giant Bomb, another Rage. They die so fast. Another Rage. You can see them dying. Four, five. I think they all died. I think all the Super Valks died. <laughs> what the? Look at them. Rage, 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 Rage. Oh my goodness. There's the King ability. The Warden is in the core, but the Queen bails. The Queen does not go in. He pops the Warden Eternal Tome. He's got healers. Did he forget to drop? Oh, no. He's going to drop healers with the RC. That's what the plan is. But everything ran. The thing with Super Valks, I'm telling you, you need to take only like two of them and then take all regular Valks. There's the healers now for the Queen. What? What is going on? Now, the Queen, she can't take this jump spell. So he planned on those Super Valks potentially taking the jump. But now he sends the RC into the Town Hall. And is this the war that's going to swing to the other side? Do we have skellies in the core? Watch out. There's the invis for the RC. She does lock onto the town hall. He can make her invisible yet again. Okay, he's got... Oh, that was close. That was close, my friends. But he's got to drop that freeze spell. Queen's ability is forced. The town hall needs to go down. There's the freeze onto the town hall and the scatter shot. Town hall has been secured. RC's working on it. And freeze is the scatter shot on the bottom side. The RC does take the scatter down. What? Okay, but if anything, time is not on his side. And we're going to see a fail from XBB. Man, those Super Velks died so quick through that section right there. And they just ran. I think you needed, he needed to pop a lot earlier of a Warden ability. Like, super early. And I think the plan was potentially to have a... Oh, yeah, nice try. Was to have potentially the queen maybe to jump and grab the town and then send the royal champ with healers or something i don't know max is in for their final attack if he triples they win so he's got 11 valks and only one super valk which is what i thought xbb might have wanted to take there but max good luck can you rebound from that one star because if you one star now this is exactly what x team would need but good luck we got the town hall to the top side. We got some ground expos over there. He's got a, a siege barracks. Interesting. A siege barracks. Okay. Drops a regular wall break. A super wall break right into this bottom side combination here. Does wall break his way into the scatter shot. Warden's continuing its path through. Where is he going to go next? Queen's making her way down to the bottom side. Drops the golem. Drops the king. Moving his way in towards his eagle. There's the siege barracks. Now the town hall's to the top side. War sends a Super Valk and rest of Valks into the scatter shot and the bomb tower. Valkyrie's going through, drops the heal for him, drops the oh the rage from the Super Valk was actually kind of perfectly placed there. Now these Valks, there's a poison spell. He's gonna have to pop the Warden Eternal Tome. There's the rage, but the Valks are not going anywhere near that town hall. Oh boy, pops the Warden ability, but I think that Warden ability was way too late. I think, see, with Valks, you have to pop that ward ability instantly, but that rage is kind of wasted. They did, he did, they didn't go that way. Freezes up that single because the warden got locked down to it. There is the skeleton to try to provide a bit of distraction, but the town is activated. And is this going to be another one from Max? Max, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's going to be another one star. Freezes up the scatter and the queen. Uh oh. Guys, this isn't looking good. He was hoping for those Valkyries to jump the wall and go to the town hall and not towards, I think, oh, look at the jump spell. He wanted to place the jump spell so they forced their way through, but he dropped the jump just, I don't, just on the wall there. So they took the jump into the middle of the base. Now he rages up this queen. Can she still save this? He's got a freeze. He's got queen ability. He needs a two star, but the queen, where are you going? Oh no, queen. Oh no, freezes. He doesn't freeze the ground expo. Queen doesn't have her. She has her ability. But where is she going next? She's going for the single. No. She go. Oh, gosh. The queen's ability. Uh-oh. All the player camps moved around. Ghost. You moved the player camps around. And the queen does not take it down. Oh, my goodness. Now, all the names are all switched up because he... Oh, boy. Hold on. I'll fix it for the next attack. But Max, another one star right there. Oh my, let me see if I can try to fix it here. And there it is, it's fixed, perfect. Oh, 83% to one stars from Max. Just not his day, not his day. And a two star from X team, and they win it. And now X team is in for their final attack. 
You get a two star, you win. And he's coming in with the Noah's Ark. He's got one of everything. Well, at least it seems like from my point of view. Starts in with that Lava Hound and the Battle Blimp behind. Moving his way into this compartment. Does he have... He does have a clone and four invis. There's the Rage. There's the clone. There's the invis. There's the clone. Super Minion get cloned up. So he's looking to take out this Town Hall and all this with the Super Minion clone spell. Another invis. Yep, they go for the Town Hall. At least one of them does. Two, A couple of them now do. They all split off. They're going kind of for different directions. Town Hall goes down, but does not grab that multi-target. But he did grab the Clan Castle. Well, okay. Well, that was very nice. Not gonna lie there. He does have a Poison spell to use. Valkyrie is not going to these. Oh, yep. Okay, Valkyrie gets pulled straight to those archers and smashes those archers right now. The Dragon Rider is coming into the multi, and the Dragon Rider is going to be able to take it down. No, it won't be able to. The Air Expo is doing too much. Wow, that was close. That Dragon Rider almost got some beautiful value there. Now, the Skellies run around, and... Okay, Skellies are going to go to the bottom side. Pekka down there. We got the Golem. Coming in down there. He's already got the one star from the town hall. He gets an additional 50% now. He gets the second star and they win this war. But he's going for the triple. This multi target inferno is getting healed back up, unfortunately. He's got the charge making his way through with that jump leading towards the core of this base. He's got a warden eternal tome. He's not using just yet. Warden ability. Come on. Warden ability. Pop it. Come on. He's sending one miner over to the multi-target Inferno area, but that miner probably won't be able to get it. He pops his king ability. Moving his way through. There's the warden finally used to protect a bunch of these barbarians through the core here. There's a tornado trap. Queen actually grabs that multi. Very nice. Still has a royal champ. E-drag to the bottom side. Trying to get its value. Has a dragon. Has a hog. Has a, just a few more troops to use. And sending him to the top side. Queen's going to continue her path through to the multi. Dragon is up on top. And the dragon's actually tanking beautifully for these some of these archer towers through here. So the royal champ can continue her path through. And I think he's got it. I think he's got the three star. So that means even if Max did get the two star, they would have... Pretend, wait, would they have lost? I think they might have lost by one either way. Unless this doesn't get it. RC, that single target Inferno is roasting through this queen. Oh, he's not going to get it. I thought he was. That single is going to stay. And the scattershot section down here is going to be too much. That single took him out so much. You don't think how much damage the single target Inferno does. And it's crazy. Now that RC is going to die off. And it's going to fall short right there. Man. What a war we had here between these two teams. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video right here of these creative attacks with these players. If you guys want to see more of the attacks or wars just like this, let me know who you want to see in a matchup down below. It is 7 to 8. X team wins 68% to a 71. Would have been a victory to Kazmik if Max didn't one star but hey it does happen hopefully you guys did enjoy this video here today if you guys did make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe down below for videos just like this and let me know who you want to see as well in an upcoming video check out these two videos for the creative wars or even the creative fc challenges that i've been doing with these pro players anyways hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day